The mission of the uh, Division of Research is to facilitate research activities on both of uh, PCOM's campuses and our clinical affiliates. The priorities of the DOR were purposefully aligned with the educational mission of PCOM. The goals of our training programs are to uh, spark curiosity in the students, hone their skills uh, in critical thinking, and also to inspire them to continue to contribute new knowledge to their profession. Our basic scientists study the uh, functions and diseases of the cardiovascular, pulmonary, urorenal, visual and nervous systems. Other of our faculty, particularly on the Georgia campus, are involved with uh, drug and biomarker development. And then finally, um, our faculty have been doing morphological analyses to identify factors that uh, impact the development of multiple species. Regarding clinical research, uh, one of our priorities is to establish partnerships with healthcare providers to develop and test uh, new strategies to treat diseases as well as uh, slowing their progression and preventing disease recurrence. I am truly excited to be back at PCOM. The scope of research and administrative support for research has expanded tremendously over the last 10 years. Our division remains committed to supporting the research of our scientists, educators, and clinicians. And ultimately, this will promote the careers of our students and improve patient care. Osteoarthritis is a disease that affects pretty much most of the population over the age of 60. It is often a result of an injury earlier in your life. Um, it also can just be from wear and tear. We have been working on a new class of therapeutic that we have created, for which we have a patent, and we are testing it in animal models. It's a technology that is unused to this date, and it is actually a way to interfere with the enzymes, which are proteins in the cartilage, that break down the cartilage itself, which is the hallmark of osteoarthritis. So everything that's out there right now is symptomatic, pain relief, uh, temporary relief of pain, but no long-term disease modifying option and we really feel that um, what we're using now has that potential to be disease modifying. Osteoarthritis is so hard to study in the lab because the joint is made up of several different tissues that interact and so having this three-dimensional modeling which was very computer-based gave us a chance to play with multiple options and then focus it the ones that would be the most beneficial targets for osteoarthritis. Finding a solution long term for treating osteoarthritis is really relevant in our society today because we live so much longer and because the hallmark of osteoarthritis is this sort of wear and tear that we see in normal living, living an aging population is going to have a higher incidence globally of osteoarthritis. Multiple myeloma is a cancer of plasma cells in the bone marrow. Even with the current technology and advance in chemotherapy and transplantation, this disease is still incurable. So my goal is to find a potential drug candidate that can treat or in combination with the current therapy to ameliorate the symptoms of multiple myeloma and hopefully to improve the quality of life and survival of the multiple myeloma patients. This grant is provided to all the junior professors at the system professor level and to help them to get some preliminary data so they can use the preliminary data to apply for bigger grant from NIH or even pharmaceutical industry. And this grant is very competitive and this year I was one of the 14 recipients.